Now, today's guest has been on our screen since she was just nine years old. There she is, look. Corrie's oh, Faye sweet. Windus. But for mm. Ellie Leach, it was her stint in the Strictly Come Dancing ballroom last year that changed her life completely. Here to tell us about what life has been like since lifting that glitter ball, please welcome Ellie Leach. Look how, look how easily you skipped down so those stairs. So lovely to be here. <laughs> oh, lovely to see you. I mean, it's exciting because I don't know if you saw earlier on this morning, they have unveiled <gasps> two Strictly contestants. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, if you weren't watching before, you don't <laughs> want to know. I'll give you a moment to turn the sound down or something. Uh, but the first one was comedian Chris McCausland, who is blind. Yeah. So that's going to be fascinating. It will be amazing, yeah. How he's going to, to do that. And, uh, and then J.B. Uh, Gill, who's from J. Yes, there he is. Who I believe is a farmer now. I think. He's a farmer in Kent. A farmer in yes. Kent. Do you remember the day it was, you were unveiled as a contestant? I can't believe that it's nearly a year yeah. ago. It feels like that time has gone so, so fast. Um, but also then feels like forever ago. Um, but yeah, I was so nervous. So nervous. It's hard keeping it secret. It so is, long. it is. I mean, I'm quite good at keeping secrets, so I didn't tell anyone really, just my family. And then when like kind of my extended family and friends found out, everyone was like, I can't believe you never told us. Um, but yeah, it is like a massive secret to keep. And Ellie, I mean this in the nicest possible way, but I watched you, of course, I, did, I watched it strictly, but you evolved into quite the most beautiful woman on Thank screen. You. Did you, do you feel that it changed you in the way? Yeah, definitely. I think. Obviously, I was on I was on Corrie for 13 years, and growing up on that program was amazing. But I was kind of doing I was the same character for so long, and I was a character, so I found it quite hard to to be myself. Um, and that's what Strictly gave me. It kind of gave me the confidence to to be myself and just kind of have fun with it. I but loved also, it. I mean, you talked about it a lot when you did Strictly, and you were talking to Claudia afterwards because you are being a different character every week. Yeah, aren't you? and, I, and yeah. you're an actor. I, I wasn't, and I found that kind of like yeah. one minute I've in a short bob doing the Charleston, mm -hmm. then it's the walls. But each week you thoroughly embraced that. You said, "I love being these different people and being pushed out of my comfort zone." And yeah. like Gloria said, we could see this this confidence yes. coming, and it was amazing. It to was watch. amazing. Yeah, I think obviously. People must have thought being an actor, you would kind of take it would be easier in a way um, to kind of take on characters throughout each dance every week. But it wasn't like obviously it was still so nerve wracking, and um, I get I would w would worry so much. Um, but yeah, I loved it. I love being able to kind of be different characters. I mean, amazing. obviously, Strictly has been in the news for all the wrong reasons very recently. You can't fail to have missed that. You know, these allegations of some of the participants saying that they were treated unfairly or bullied. Um, what was your experience of that? What do you make of the things that are being talked about at the moment? I think that I can only speak from my own experience and I had the most amazing time. You know, Vito was the most incredible partner and teacher and... Oh, look at and, you're still so and you're still friends. We are, and we will be friends forever. He helped me through a journey that was so difficult, you know, like, I think f for me, I had no confidence when I started Strictly and he really helped me build on that and he genuinely made me the person that I am today and I'm so lucky to have had that relationship with him um, and the experience that I had, it was incredible. Yeah, well, we could see, we could see that. So moving on from Strictly, you've got a new stage <gasps> show coming up, haven't you? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, so I am currently starring in Cluedo 2, which has been touring the UK since February. Um, we've just finished in July and we're, we've got a break for August. Um, we start back in September till November touring the rest of the UK. So this is based on the board it's game based that on we the board all know game, and yeah. love and it, Yeah, and even if you haven't played it, um, you kind of know what Cluedo is. You know, the characters are so iconic. and. It is a murder mystery, but it is also a comedy, and I think people don't really put them two together. Um, our director, Mark Bell, who directed The Play That Goes Wrong, um, and our writers, Lawrence Marks and Morris Grant, who wrote Birds of a Feather, oh, yeah. um, they are incredible. It's an Did amazing team. I'm playing Miss Scarlet. Um, yes, you've got my colours on today, Miley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I haven't, since, since finishing in July, I haven't wore any red. I'm like, shall I just stay Stick away from red at the minute? And tell um, what's her character like? I think that Miss Scarlet is. I like to use the word charming. She's quite charming, but I think, you know, it is a murder mystery and all of the characters maybe who... They aren't who they claim yeah. 
to be. And can the, is it like audience, can we be the detectives in the audience? Well, yeah, like, you know, you, you, you kind of come and you see the show and you see how the characters develop and how they interact with each other. Um, and I think as an audience member, you definitely start to pick up, like, who, who maybe did it with what and where. So, yeah, it's, it's basically the board game, this Cluedo. Is first, this is your stage debut. It is. The first time in the theatre, on stage, live audience. Yeah, yeah, wow. which was very, very scary. But I think, you know, I was on Corrie for, for 13 years and to take the acting skills that I learnt there and then marry them with the kind of live as aspect um, of Strictly, they've both really helped me and kind of prepare for, for my stage debut. So, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun and it's an amazing show. It's a... It's a lot of fun. It's it, it, like I say, it's a comedy, so I think people don't expect that when they when they hear murder mystery. Um, so yeah, it's a, just a really nice bit of entertainment. Well, parents must be so proud. Oh, I <laughs> hope must so. Must be so proud of you. But we have been talking about embarrassing, <laughs> embarrassing parents. And please make us all feel better. Yeah, have you got embarrassing parents? <laughs> yes, I think everybody's got embarrassing parents. I think that. <laughs> Everyone is, uh, to some extent, oh, embarrassed. Yeah, oh, yeah, look at are. them. There they are. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure that... I think everything that I do in my life, I just I just want to make them proud. I want to make my family oh. proud. Um, and... Is one of them a singer or just in public, just to embarrass you? No, my dad likes to just make up songs randomly. So, like, we just, <laughs> we've just been on holiday, so I've spent two weeks with them. <laughs> and from the minute we stepped foot in the airport, he's... We're going to Tenerife. <laughs> I'm like, right, Dad, nobody needs to hear this random song that you've made up. But like, someone's name, he'll make up a song about that. Or, yeah, he's, uh, he's he very funny. He sounds great. Yeah, yeah. He's a great laugh, he is. It's fun. Yeah. Actually, I want to go back to Strictly for a minute. Nothing to do with the present sort of um, storyline. But I did it 20 years ago, when, honestly, it was so innocent, you could put one foot past the other, but it's changed. It's become much more competitive, hasn't it, Ruth? It has, but then we love it, and each year it gets yeah. bigger and bigger and yeah. bigger, and yeah. I'm sure this year will be no different. We're looking forward to having it back. Yeah, and, um, you know, you lifted that glitter ball, which was <laughs> oh, God. just <laughs> I still, amazing. Oh, thank you so much, honestly. I still, I still can't believe it. It feels so surreal, and I don't ever think that it will ever feel like that actually happened, that we lifted the glitter yeah. ball. Um, but I'm, I I'm felt so, so lucky. Like <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, just say that Cluedo uh, 2 is the next leg of the tour, starts on the 3rd of September in Leeds. Lovely to see you. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Thank, Thank you for having me.